What do you do when it feels like life has slapped you oh, in the face? Hey guys, I'm Amy, this is Stick With The Plan, and today I'm talking about what do you do when you feel like life has just slapped you across the face. Something unexpected has happened, something disappointing, distracting, very heavy, and most of the time it's very hurtful when you feel this way. You know, I laugh because every time I do a message, I feel like I have to live it right before I started filming that someone sent me a mean text, and I thought, gosh, that felt like a slap across my face. You know, I know we've seen recently on TV, people getting slapped publicly. But, uh, you know, even if it's not a physical encounter, I believe spiritually the devil sets up slaps for us all the time. And we have to already decide, premeditate, how are you going to react to that? How are we going to react to someone acting ugly toward us, hurting us? You know, are we just going to be devastated? Are we going to respond from our flesh? You know, when I let my flesh lead, I, I realize I'm really quick to react, you know. But if I can just take a breath and uh, something mean is said to me, you know, if I don't just react so quickly, if I'll just take a breath, you know, kind of have a response, let, let my spirit take the lead, I realize, you know, that's probably a better way to act. You know, if you're hot-headed and you fly off the handle all the time, you'll, you'll probably find yourself making uh, mistakes because we want to. When someone comes at you aggressively, we want to react the same way. If someone comes up and slaps you, you want to slap them right back. <laughs> you know, if they punch you, hit you, if they're yelling at you, oh, you, I want to yell right back. You want to give the same reaction. How is it that Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 5 that we're to turn the other cheek? You know, it makes Christians or believers sound like wimps. What, when someone comes at us, we're just supposed to give them the other cheek? It can't be right. But it's not that God doesn't want you to stand up for yourself or fight for yourself. No, he's saying, I've got a better plan. You know, I've read out through the Bible where he says, hey, just wait, don't you try to repay somebody. You know, just take a breath. You know, I was reading in Romans chapter 12 where it says that, it says, now, now when don't repay them with evil or that wrong doing. He said, make room for the wrath of God, for it is written, vengeance is the Lord's. <laughs> and when I think about that, hey, God can get them better than I can. Now, I know we serve a good and loving father, but if people are going to act ugly and not love him and get outside of the blessing, I can't help it. You know, <laughs> I'm not wishing bad for our enemies. We pray for our enemies, but I'm just saying if they're going to keep sowing ugly seeds, they're going to reap ugly seeds. They're going to slow if you slow slaps, you will reap slaps back. But, you know, if, if we can just rely on the Lord to fight our battles. You know, if we're not quick, quick to react, quick to embarrass ourselves. You know, the Lord said, get angry. You can be angry at somebody, but sin not. Let the Lord take care of them. Say, Lord, I don't understand why they're acting this way. You take care of them. Because the enemy, if we could see through this trap that the enemy has for you, you he doesn't want you um, just uh, to see right through, right to him. He wants us in a people fight, to be mad at every friend, to be mad at everybody around us, every enemy, to have all these grudges, all these plans for revenge, when the truth is our number one enemy is Satan himself. So we don't have to be in a people fight or be mad at our brothers and sisters. No, we know there's one enemy. That's the devil. I'm not ignorant of him. I know who's behind this fight. It is him. And I've got victory over him if I can stay in Christ, stay in love. And I had to walk this out one time a couple years ago. I've mentioned this story before on a stick with the plan, but oh, it's a, a time where I got really angry in my flesh and, and I wanted to slap back. I was at the beach and my summer was little. She was about three or four, had a friend with us, Sydney, and we were down by the water. And I thought it'd be so fun to feed the birds. So we had some cheese balls out there and we're just throwing them by the water. And, and, and not very many birds showed up, just one or two came. And, and, and I noticed the wind started blowing and it blew all the cheese balls, you know, I mean, about a hundred years yards away, there was another family setting in chairs while well, all of our <laughs> cheese balls, our snacks blew over there. Well, here came this woman and she had to walk all that way down. And I could tell the more she walked towards me, the angrier she was getting. And she got down there to the water and I prayed the whole time she was coming. I was like, Lord, don't let me slap her. You know, cause I could tell she had this attitude and I'd already stopped. I knew what was happening. Well, she got so mad. She said, what are you doing? 
they're trying to feed every bird on this island. They're going to come and they're going to, she said, poop, poop all over my stuff, my chairs, my blankets, all of our stuff. <laughs> you know, and she's yelling right in my face. And I said, you know, and I was just then I was not going to just react to her, but have a godly response. And I just, you know, felt the peace of God on the inside instead of sucker punching her like I wanted to. You know, I just said, I'm so sorry that happened. When I saw that, I stopped as soon as I could. And she got so mad because I apologized. She wanted to fight, you know, and she just said, Ugh. she said, well, I hope you know you ruined my day. And she stomped right back off to her chair. I feel like I passed the test when I wanted to slap back, when I wanted to scream back at her. I didn't. I just had a soft answer. I'll let God plot that revenge. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll make room for his wrath. Lord, just bless her. I prayed for her. Lord, help her. But in your life today, don't ha you don't have to slap back. You can just let the Lord work and fight, work out this battle better than you ever could, and you can stay in the blessing of God. And that's how you'll stick with the plans he has for you. Thanks for joining me today. I love hearing all that God is doing in your life. Thank you for sharing this. New friends are watching this because you are sharing this. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We'll have a brand new video for you next week. And remember, every Tuesday, I am live. I'll see you then. Thank you.